And guess what I have? I have a new Amos plugin. So Doug Kelly, one of my good research assistants here at BYU, made a plugin to automate a common method bias test in Amos using the common latent factor approach. You may remember from previous miserable experiences that what you'd have to do is create this latent factor and then draw regression lines from the latent factor to every single individual observed item. And you probably had a model that was way more complex than this and you'd miss one or two or five connections and you wouldn't know which ones and it wouldn't run or it would run but it'd be flawed. And so we decided to remove all potential for human error and just automate it. Now let me show you how to get the plugin. What you do is you go to StatWiki and on the main page in the left navigation panel there's a new plugin right under the EFA to CFA plugin. This one's called the Amos CLF plugin. Now if you left click it, it just shows you all the code, which may be interesting for some of you but probably not that useful for most of you. So instead, right click it, go to save link as if you're in Google Chrome. If you're using another browser, it's going to be something similar. Go ahead and save that. For now, just save it to your desktop. And now let's go to the desktop. Let's see. It is right here, CLFVB. Sorry, that's kind of hard to see. Let me stick it here where it's a little simpler. Okay. What you're going to do is right click it, go to properties, and then because this is sort of a driver file, from the internet, Windows thinks it's unsafe. So what you have to do is unblock the content. So unblock it, hit OK, and now that we've unblocked it, we need to go stick it in the plugins folder. So let's go find the plugins folder. In my computer, it's C, program files 86. If you have a 64 bit computer, it's an 86. If you don't have 86, then you don't have a 64 bit computer. So it would be in program files. So program files 86, IBM. SPSS, Amos, and then pick the newest version you have. For me, it's version 21, and it's in the plugins folder. So I'm just going to drag and drop this in the plugins folder. And then for now, it's not in Amos. If I go to plugins, it's. Oh, wow, it showed up. It shouldn't have showed up. I'm going to close it anyway. Hit uh, yes, save. And then I'm going to reopen Amos just to make sure. Here we go. And there it is, the common latent factor connector. That's the plugin. What we'll do is we'll delete this. So we're starting fresh. This is your CFA. In order to run this, you have to create a common latent factor and highlight it. That's it. That's the extent of your work for now. Then go to plugins. Don't forget, this has to be highlighted, so it has, has to be blue. Plugins, common latent factor connector. You run it. It takes about one second. It names it for you and it adds each of these lines. Pretty cool, huh? The only thing left for you to do is to double click the common latent factor, go to the parameters tab, and enter a variance of one. That's to let it run. And let's run it and make sure it works. Yes, proceed. Woohoo! It ran. That's great. And that's it. So, no more human error. Hope that helps.